Hey everyone, Chris here. Today, I just want to talk about the simplest neural network you can make. Now, the simplest neural network you can make is called a perceptron network. And what that consists of is a single neuron with a step activation function. And a step function basically just returns a zero or one based on the inputs. So the most simple neural network we can have is this single neuron, which in our example, we'll say takes two inputs to produce its output. And for this problem, to give us something concrete to solve, we will create an AND gate, where zero represents false, one represents true. So this is a basic logic table for AND, false, false is false, true, false, false, true, false, but true, true equals one. And so given this simple neural network of one neuron, how can we compute this properly? Well, so if we take the true case, we'll say our X1 here is our input, We'll give this a one, that is a true, and x2 down here is also true. So how do we get this neural network to compute our output value by one to be also true? Well, to calculate the value of a neuron, you take the weighted sum of the inputs plus some bias term and run that through what's called an activation function. But first we do the weighted sum of all the inputs plus some bias. This is often referred to as a Z value, right? Because we have some weight one here, weight two here, and then our neuron has some bias associated with it. This weight one, weight two bias is what the network will learn over time. But when we first create the network, it is initialized with a random value. For this example, we're going to set these values manually such that our true inputs will result in a true output to compute the function for our AND logic gate here. And so if the Z value of the neuron is the weighted sum of all the inputs plus some bias, the actual value of the neuron is just the activation function we choose of Z. And now in the case of our perceptron, we are choosing a step function where if the value of Z is greater than some threshold, we output a one. If the value of Z is less than some threshold, we output a zero. And this activation function can change based on the network you're building. But in our simplest example, we are using the step function with our single neuron. And now this type of uh, activation function limits what we can actually model with our network to only linearly separable problems. But the AND gate, that will work fine. In the next example, when we try to solve XOR, you'll see that this is not okay and we will change our activation function. But this is just the most basic foundational, simple neural network you can build. One neuron, a step function for activation and outputs one or zero based on the Z value being above or below some threshold. We will say our threshold equals zero. That is typical of the step function. Okay, so how do we set our weights and biases. Well, that's done through a process called training. But like I said, we're going to set these manually. So just take my word for it for now. Let's set our weight one to be one, our weight two to also be one, and our bias term will be negative 1.5. And so the way we compute our neuron value is through a process called feed forward, where we will take the weighted sum of all the inputs and bias. So that would be x1 times w1 plus x2 times w2. We sum this together and then we add our bias and this is equal to z. So in our example, it's a one times one plus one times one plus a negative 1.5 equals a 0 0.5. Then we take the activation of our z value, which is 0 0.5. And remember our activation function down here is 0 0.5 is greater than zero, which is our threshold. So we return a one. So the value of this neuron is a one, which in a perception network, the value of this neuron is your output. There is not an additional output layer here, even though we call this an output neuron. And so we can see that true and true equals true. This is an AND gate. And now if we set this to zero, let's say another example, we make this a zero. This would be zero plus one is plus negative one and a half is negative 0.5. That is less than zero we get false. And so I just wanted to walk through a simple neural network today and give you an example of feed forward. Uh, but we covered quite a bit today, right? We talked about neurons, layers, weights, plus bias. We covered activation functions and then the process of feed forward. 
And once you understand these pieces, now we can get into training and cost functions. And once you have the output of your feed forward network, you can then use that to compare it to the actual label of your training data and then adjust the weights and biases. And that's how we train. So in a later video, we'll talk about training and also more advanced versions of a neural network. Thanks for watching.